Asus with Zenfone 6 has been making a lot of waves all around the world. Partly because of its 499 US dollar price tag and partly because of this flipping camera module. But does it hold any water to iPhone XS from Apple? Let's find out in this video. But before we do that, if you are new to the channel, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Nice! Now that you hit the like button, let's start the comparison. Before starting the camera comparison, this is how it's going to go guys. We know that ASUS can take 48 megapixel images as well. So we are going to compare the details of that with iPhone also. Do bear in mind though, in 48 megapixel mode, there is no HDR or HDR enhanced working. We are also going to compare the HDR enhanced images taken on ASUS Zenfone 6 versus the images taken on iPhone. With that information, let's start the camera comparison. This is a great shot to test here the dynamic range of both of these smartphones. On your left is a 48 megapixel image shot from ASUS Zenfone 6Z versus the right image which is shot on iPhone at 12 megapixel. Clearly the iPhone image looks pleasing because it has HDR mode on and the lack of HDR in 48 megapixel makes the image look quite dull here. But if you zoom in for details, you can clearly see that the 48 megapixel image has much more details. And if you really want the image to be brighter, you can edit it in post and get more details out of this. Now in auto mode, both of these cameras are neck to neck detail wise. But I'll give a slight edge to iPhone because of the dynamic range that it has preserved in the clouds as you can see. But Zenfone is not going to give up that easy. It has a trick up its sleeve that's called HDR plus enhanced which really does enhance some of the details. But I'll still give this shot to iPhone because of the dynamic range and the color reproduction right here. The second test shot we took was to see which of the smartphones capture more details and surely Zenfone 6Z with its 48 megapixel mode blows the iPhone XS out of the water. Look at the zoomed in sample, there's so much more detail in the picture captured by ASUS. In the normal mode though, both of the images shot on iPhone and Zenfone display equal levels of details though a slight edge has to be given to iphone because a lot more color and detail has been preserved in the sky portion of the pig shot on iphone 10s even cranking the hdr plus enhanced mode on asus does not help the cause and there's still more sky detail captured by the iphone so this one's tie because zenfone won in the 48 megapixel detail category but the dynamic range of iPhone is quite better. Again, the same story repeats with our third test shot. The Zenfone 6 with its 48 megapixel sensor captures more detail than iPhone XS. Though in this scenario, the HDR details are on par of both of these smartphones. And while turning on the HDR plus enhanced on Zenfone 6Z, the dynamic range of ASUS Zenfone 6Z even surpasses that of iPhone XS. Here's a portrait shot for comparison as well. You can see that the iPhone portrait shot crops in a lot more than the Zenfone 6Z. Also, both of these smartphones blurs the foreground and background to achieve a realistic bokeh effect. Personally, I like the portrait mode of iPhone XS better just because of the angle of view. But portrait modes are not meant to be taking photos of shoes. So here's a portrait pic in portrait mode of me. In this shot, you can clearly see the iPhone is lacking a lot as compared to Zenfone because with the Zenfone, the rear camera becomes your front facing camera and you can get beautiful selfies out of this phone. The detail levels, the color, the bokeh, everything is better, I would say, on Zenfone. Taking food pictures is a common thing that we all do on our smartphones, so we tested it here. Again, in the 48 megapixel mode, there are more details, but the iPhone surprisingly does very well in terms of details with its 12 megapixel sensor. In the HDR mode, both the details and the dynamic range are comparable. While it takes HDR enhanced mode for ASUS Zenfone 6Z to punch one above iPhone XS. Well, this image is quite interesting here. The image shot on ASUS Zenfone 6Z in 48 megapixel mode displays even less details than the 12 megapixel image shot by iPhone XS. That's quite surprising to me and the iPhone image also looks pleasing to the eye. Even in HDR mode, the skin tones of iPhone XS image are better, it is well exposed and the details remain unchanged. Even after cranking HDR enhanced mode on ASUS Zenfone 6Z, the level of details does not change. 
this one has to be given to iPhone. iPhone has always clicked the best panorama images of all the smartphones available in the industry and that's true for this one as well. iPhone not only captures the most detail in panorama images, it also has very good dynamic range. I also did some testing in low lighting conditions including taking selfies and here are the results. In low light scenarios though the sensor of Asus Zenfone 6Z at 48 megapixel captures more details but the dynamic range of iPhone XS is better. Now under same conditions turning on the night mode increases the detail level as well as the dynamic range of the shots of Asus Zenfone 6Z whereas the iPhone XS remains same because it does not have any night mode built into it. And that's not all, you also have an option to shoot wide angle images with Asus Zenfone 6Z which is inherently missing from iPhone XS. Again in this beautiful nightscape of the city we see the same results repeat over again. In this low light scenario we see that iPhone has captured more details but wait till I turn on the night mode on the main sensor of Asus Zenfone 6Z and BAM we see instantly more details and a pleasing image from Asus Zenfone 6Z. For nighttime selfies the iPhone XS does not have the best selfie camera and here's the proof to it Asus 6Z takes much better selfies at night time and the performance is further improved if you turn on the night mode. Also because of the whole camera module that flips in Asus 6Z you can use a proper flash as compared to the screen flash of iPhone XS and the results speak for themselves. Even the selfie portrait mode shots look better on Asus 6Z as compared to iPhone XS. Now here's a selfie in very low light and here you can see the prowess of Asus 6Z in its full glory. The image shot on iPhone XS does not look any good. Now that's not all. I've also shot some video comparisons to compare the stabilization and the details that both of these phones capture. In the first video sample recorded at night, we can see much more details in Asus 6Z's video file as compared to the iPhone, but the dynamic range is much better and controlled in iPhone XS. Notice how the Asus 6Z has blown out the highlights in this video file. In the second video sample, we are concerned with the stabilization of the video at 4K 60fps resolution and Zenfone 6Z hands down has the best stabilization in the smartphone market. But do you notice this flicker that appears on Asus Zenfone 6Z? Well that's missing from the video taken on the iPhone in the same conditions. That's quite odd. During the day though, the details shot on Asus Zenfone 6Z and iPhone XS are comparable. Though stabilization is much better with the Zenfone 6Z. The dynamic range is slightly better here with the iPhone XS. Also notice how in a different frame in same conditions now the dynamic range of Asus Zenfone 6Z is much better than iPhone XS that has blown out the sky in this video sample. That was really close but Asus destroys iPhone XS with its 48 megapixel large sensor. iPhone is really starting to show its age and I cannot wait to see what Apple has in store for us. But as of now, this is the clear winner among both of these. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments down below. If you like the content, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow and subscribe for more content like this. This is Chirag signing off.